It's astonishing how tight a lid the major media has kept on the JFK assassination over the last 50 years. As a longtime writer on the subject, I've taken particular note of the parade of fake whistleblowers luring the unsuspecting researchers into rabbit holes salted with time bombs. Every generation brings a new wave of manufactured disinfo, and the noise-to-signal ratio has been immense. All the noise is evidence of a conspiracy. The media was consolidated into a private cartel prior to World War II and now serves propaganda and pablum and no longer capable of investigating deep politics in America as they are wired into the national security state. The last remaining data dump of documents still being held for reasons unknown was due out a few years ago and that released guaranteed new revelations as well as new rabbit holes salted with time bombs. But of course, the release was delayed again for reasons of national security. Rest assured, this crime was committed by Ted Shackley, David Morales, and John Roselli, among others, and covered up by Alan Dulles, James Angleton, and J. Edgar Hoover. One of the more interesting dots I was recently able to connect was eyewitness Richard Carr's testimony concerning two men he saw standing in the window of the sixth floor Texas Book Depository during the assassination and how much they resembled Ted Shackley and David Morales. Carr got a closer look a few minutes later when he witnessed them exit the back of the building and jump into a waiting Rambler station wagon. Miraculously, Carr survived two assassination attempts and was even able to kill one of his assailants. Whether you are new to the case or a longtime researcher, you'll find my material not covered anywhere else. As an insider in the counterculture media, I was allowed a closer examination of many of the leading whistleblowers and concluded many were really spooks salting time bombs. I also believe the case needs to be distilled and not buried in a blizzard of details. So I try to keep the word link down to the minimum necessary to round out all the necessary bases. Instead of letting the noise distract or mislead, I follow disinfo to its source and study the structure of the disinfo matrix for clues. Everyone brings something to the table, especially the spooks.